Hello everybody, I am Ben Anderson. And I'm Kelton De La Cruz. And we, this is the adventures of Bub and Bud. And yeah. we are going, we're going out west, we're right? Going west. Yep. And now they're, they're, there's going to be some heck fire and darnation in this game. So yep. if you are offended by that kind of cantankerous languaging, you best turn away now. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this is one of my characters I know the bad. But uh, we're going to be doing a new game. New game, yeah. Yeah. Wanted Red McCree. For, wanted for protagonizing. Red McCree. Actually, Red McCree is a pretty awesome name. It is, it is a pretty awesome name. But check this out. Huh. Marion Holiday. Nick Rogers. Fozzie Oakley. Oakley. Bird Oakley. Oakley. Sylvester Mayfield. Cat Connor. I did like Red McCree though. Yeah, I assume it was good. We could go with your motto of McCree must die. Yeah, McCree must die. Red. Red McCree, yeah. Alright. Anyway. That's have fun, fun in the shooting gallery. Yeah. I think we're going to be doing a lot of this shooting stuff like this. Nope. This is about nope. the only time in the <laughs> game. Raising your reward is just for fun. Uh, no. Alright. Let's play. Play. Now, if we actually do want to use our headphones, we're going to have to yeah. we're gonna have to take off the hats. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing the character class. Cowpuncher. Cowpuncher is more of the melee Snake stuff. Oiler. Snake Oiler is the um, ranged attack. And you rely okay. more on your moxie, which is like first weight and stuff. But okay. Cowpuncher gives you more of the intimidating. And it ultimately does not matter because if you decide to uh, up to level up yourself, uh, don't use the auto XP sender, spender. Yeah. You can level up kind of whatever you want. Okay. Um, I really enjoy Cowpuncher. Snake Oiler has also been a lot of fun. Okay. Um, I've never played Bean Slinger. But there is, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with Snake Oiler. All right. Snake Oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard Snake Oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everyone needs potions, the hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, and read read everything in this game. Read everything. Read everything. Cool. So it's moving wise as usual. You read the spine of one of your books, Ben Brown and the Forgotten City. I'm giving you this one a few years ago. Seems legit. The Miracle of the Spooky <laughs> Barn. Dad gave it. Hero of Monster Bridge. Cecil Bobsey in the Terrible Cabin. Curse of the Eerie Cabin. Lucas Brown in the Old Jungle. Oh, this one might come in handy. Walking, <laughs> Walking stupid. stupid. Well, take a look at your inventory. Walking stupid. Walking stupid. This book tells the tale of the renegade sheriff who is really, <laughs> really bad at walking. Unlock, Unlock stupid. stupid walking is an option. Do it. Yes. All right. Okay. So nice. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it thirty times while you're trying to pick it up. Okay. This is how they get around the books always disappearing after you learn something out of it. <laughs> nice. All right, so go to oh, your gosh. inventory. What the heck? Oh wait, is, is he doing it already? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's doing... Oh yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, headphones. All right. Let's take these silly hats off. Okay. No one needs hats. No one needs hats. Well, I'm, I'm gonna wear mine for a bit because I like my hat. Ooh. But, uh... I like this music. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. So why don't you go down to your desk? Okay. Oh, you don't click on things for those. Parts. Okay. So goodbye, Roll desk. Hair. Yay! Yeah. Oh, uh, go to your options real quick. Uh, options. Automatically spend XP is on. Probably gonna want to turn Ooh, that off. Yeah. Um, stupid walking is on. Nerd mode. Uh, that gives you extra stats if you care about it. Alright. Best font mode though. Oh gosh, no, <laughs> no. Um, super walking <laughs> nostalgia mode. I like nostalgia mode um, because it's easier on my eyes. I just kind of oh, my God. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to my real dreams. Oh, hey, there's a bird in cage. 
This weird poster appeared here one night. Hmm. Hey, Russell. How you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Oh, I was thinking you're in the cop. Uh, call, call, call! Oh, okay. Have a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Hmm. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, caws one last time, Caw! and flies away to the west. Time to hit the trail. My phonograph. Boo. Oh wait, you have you have the handle now? The what? You said you said you stowed the handle away. Okay, doesn't matter. Huh. Okie doke. And that's everything I what okay. Yep. Your living room. Living room. Wood. Oh what a Firewood. mess. Yay! Yay one XP. XP. Ain't nothing on the hat rack today. Hearth it's the hearth and hearth and home. Gonna miss mom's cooking. Mom's pie safe. Keeps all our pies safe. <laughs> You'll miss meals with family. Little, brother. Little brother's room. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Disquisitionis arithmetica. How many different languages do you need to learn about numbers? Yeah, no. Tractatus logo. I couldn't see that. Philosophia naturalis principia mathematica. Yeah. Uh, that's in German, and I don't know, it probably says something, but... Anyway. Okay. So tidy. Kid's Brother's Toy Box. Puzzle Cube. Woo, puzzle Cube. Cube. Yeah. It's one of your Kid Brother's weird puzzles. Fiddle with it. Yay, Yay, one XP! Okay, well, don't want to be messed Wait. up forever. If you mess up again, I'll be messed up forever. Forever. Okay, then. You don't know the power that it has. Weird diagrams and charts. Is that too? Oh, that takes that away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's your currency in the upper left. The meat? Yeah. Okay. Well. Family's fucker. Time to head west. Oh, and you're going to want to go to that haystack. You want to go to the haystack? Okay. Yeah. I'm leaving now, Mom. Well, we're gonna miss, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's one of those books you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Crimbo? You know, Crimbo. It's okay. The, the, the holiday celebration of All winter. Right. What about picking locks, desert survival, or bartering? Ooh. Picking locks can be pretty useful. That is true. Um, desert survival, I think, allows you to... Uh, you'll figure it out. Yeah, I think... Let's go picking locks. All right. Oh boy, Woo. locks and how to pick them. Be careful there, write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Hey, she hugs me. Yeah, I'll probably be dead though, so who cares? Because my cream must die. This book can bring in as a comprehensive guide on advanced lock packing. Lock packing. Lock packing. Lock packing. It's a whole chapter on tumblers. Nice. You could memorize yeah. the entire book. That's some pretty good music right there. Mm hmm. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. <laughs> Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go! Nice. So, this is what I'm picking. Yeah, you, I, you forget your dad, though. What was the gems they say? The hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. <laughs> Time for me to leave. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. <laughs> if you're a cow puncher, he gives you your grandma's brass knuckles. Nice. Thanks, Dad. G good look out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mom. I did. Bye, Dad. Hey, Mail. Briefcase full of snakes. I actually completely forgot I had this thing with my cowpuncher character. Or not cowpuncher, snake oiler. Cool. Close the briefcase. We'll deal with that later. Haystack. Uh, it's a haystack. Dig through it. It's a needle. Hey, a yeah, needle. What you use for picking locks? Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's not for someone, it's for picking locks. Nice. Get Brother Rufus. Pretty good, looking nervous. Give him back his puzzle cube. Starts fidgeting with it. Take it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. <laughs> He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? Seek my fortune. There's no opportunity here, kid. I'm gonna make something of myself, and I go 
I gotta go where I can make some meat. But it's dangerous. 60% of people go west we got killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I take it the cows came home is an important yes. historical thing. That's why thing. that's why cow puncher is a class. Ah. You'll be you'll be punching some cows eventually. Is that like the apocalypse or something? Um that's part of the apocalypse. Huh. That's nice. I'll explain it as it happens. Alright. I'll be okay. If you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. <laughs> wow. You're a good kid, boy. Anything else around here? No. No. Okay. Weehoo! Look at me go! So I want to do a live action thing Go-less for each man. like series we do. Mm-hmm. Play the prologue again. Uh, I want to play the prologue again. But you'll miss the music. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Yeah. Director by Zach Johnson. That horse is weird looking. Oh yeah, all the horses are a little weird looking. Um, so, for brothers, I actually want to do, I want us to go through our survival list. Okay. And, like, just do all of them in live action. Okay. As our, like, live finale to what happened there. I'm gonna move your microphone. I got a turnip. Nice. Oh. Ow. I sliced my finger open the other day. And, uh. Nice. That really hurts. Ryan Ike. There's a boom operator in this game? Yep. 200 miles later. Whoa. Dirt Welcome water. to Dirtwater. No, Dirtwater's 300 miles that way. Oh, right. Oh, whoop. And there I go. Oh, you might want to get that turnip, though. Okay. Well, the bad news is you fell off the cart and you got knocked <laughs> out for a couple hours. Now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is you're in town, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get the dust myself off. Not want to get that turnip, though. Boring springs. Turn it. Oh, and walk into the cacti. Alright, turn it. Dusty turn it. Okay, I want to save that, though. Well, it's for the rest of the day. Rest of the day. Walk, walk in. Yeah. Oof. Do that. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Thanks. Oof. Dang it. Yikes. Ah, oh, pointy. Yikes. Ah! Oh, I just said something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, gone drinking. Gone drinking. Uh, you know what? We should go drinking too. Shall I get us some uh, root beer? Sure. All thanks, right. Ah, oh, crap. Beer. I touched a cactus. Yikes. Ah, dang it. Crap. Uh, yeah. Ouch. What's this? Woo! I'm rolling. This is my final form. Yeah, who is a cactus man? Who is a cactus man? Hoax weird cactus man hybrid. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer. <laughs> Turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. That's why they call you Cactus Bill? Nope, just a coincidence. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus keep part of me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite born. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> hey, it wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to find a cactus. So, Trade. if you leave okay. this town, mm-hmm. well, when you leave this town, you'll never come back here. All right. So you might want to do everything. Step right up, step right up, braids the name, and trades the game. Howdy. You What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And the cunning skinner who brings me three rousing hides while to that adventure soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Hmm. I want my needle, so. No trades now. No trading. Alright. Hey, he's got a gun. Sherf. Yep. Yeah, the sherf. Go to the sherf. Dirty mug. Hey, recovered mug. Property of Boring Springs Saloon. 
cool. Hey, Sheriff, how's it going? Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Bowen Springs. I'm the Sheriff of these parts. The what? The Sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. See, you wouldn't have me working for luck. We're looking for work, are we? Matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last night, I arrested one of them, and it busted out. It took my cell to worth them. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need someone rough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Deputy Pistol. You deputized a gun? You're new in town, so maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me down, write down the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. Okay, got it. Back at the door. And you're also... Okay, so this mission will... Deputy Pistol. This mission will actually um, dictate something for you. Liver and spleen and stomach. So how much food you can eat before you have to sleep. Uh, liver is how much drinks you can have before you have to sleep. Spleen is how many potions you can use in a day. Huh. That's fun. Um, I would recommend uh, make your own damn god born springs <laughs> and its environment. Nice. Um, I recommend going to the saloon, trying to pick up a partner. Okay. Um, yeah, the bar. Hey, where's your hat, Dad? Damn it! Uh, well, I... you can't drink in here without a hat tape proper. Okay. A battered derby. Hey, I got a floppy derby. Mm-hmm. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. Say, fella. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd more than happy to come on. Just let me know. Well, or... No pressure! Alright, keep you in mind. I've actually never used some... Oh, there's a platoon. Check out this platoon. It's a platoon. People spit in it. You know, even without looking into it, that's absolutely disgusting. Look into it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum. Looks like a few teeth as well. It smells disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now, hands and knees, peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. I, I I, don't understand what's wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it! You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough from a mesquite barbecue eating contest. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup and it makes a sound like Ooh. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search! Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's taurine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease. Congratulations! <laughs> Nasty ring, yay! Plus one everything. Game's ring was traumatic, but it's kind of worth it. Nice. So there's platoons throughout the game. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Red. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. Come out west and make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, no. Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs, making it an errand to town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend taking the railroad people up by dirt water. Railroad? Railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a lot of Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. They're hiring? Well, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Dirt water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that's been burned to the ground by those damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd be heading that way myself. Cow? What? Okay, the cows, okay. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart one way or another. The hostlers always need help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff could use a hand having someone do his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow po poke in the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. What? Okay, probably handle a goblin. Much blood. I'll lock the basement door for you. Oh yeah, you'll need this. Weak fungi. What? Mhm. Mm okay. I would like to note that it is possible to learn how to speak goblin. 
and you can learn how to speak goblin in this town. Okay. So, you can kill him, or you can try talking and negotiating with it. It is a goblin. Wait, it said I can give him the mug. How do I give him the mug? Oh, go back up to him. I found this mug. mug. Much obliged. Yay, I got meat. Uh, that gets rid of, that's, that makes you leave. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know what he's good at. She is good against cows. Alright, who's this fella next to me? Hmm, ask him yourself. Fair enough. Ya. Howdy, I'm Red. Howdy, Red, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it, I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, the horses are just flying out the door. And this is booming? Nice. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. <laughs> Haven't sold one in ages. Oh. So oh, I... Hi, Hannah. Hi. Hi. Where's your hat? Yeah. Ah, okay, I have a hat. Yay. Can't be in West without a hat. Okay, I now have a hat. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Oh, that's your... That's, <laughs> that's my life, life. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm putting words in my mouth. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> that why I drink it here instead? Yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably why they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious cycle things. You're a terrible person. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? Uh, well, kind of a boring one. It's got four legs and back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Cool. Now, you could buy that horse, or you can go talk to him and rescue the other horses. Ah, no. That's... Lady! Ah, whoops. Okay. Ask yeah, about the lady. Whiskey out of a beer mug. That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Let's go talk to her. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching for... Howdy, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching for a tune for his teeth if you don't oh. leave me in peace? Thank you. Okay, bye-bye then. So yeah, you have to find out more about her first. What do I do with that too? <laughs> I want a second hat. You'll get them. You'll get some more hats. Hey. Yes. We... Anyway, so... There's the goblin. Hey, newspaper. Yeah, you can get the newspaper to the cactus. You can, if you learn goblin Bree speak, Ark. you can talk and Hey, Bree Ark. Hmm? Bree it's a, uh, that's a uh, Hearthstone. Oh, cool. Joke. Cool. Um, so you can learn goblin speak and talk to him. Okay. But you, if you fight him, that's it. Ooh, that's good. That's what will nurse brain whiskey. will help you talk to the doctor. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Talk to you later. And I got your message in school. Alright. Yes, we never said we were age. We should Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Bye. That was my mom, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Alright, so, um. Hey. Now, where do I speak, Goblin? Um, I'm not. I can't remember, but go, go outside. Go outside. Yeah. Go outside. And people do things. Ooh. How to play poker. He's trying to... Concentrate real hard. Can I play? Look at you nervously. Ooh. Let's do it! Oh, and, uh... The, the, the higher the skills are, usually the better the result. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the card, sloppily, and deals a new round. You got a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. Okay. Bet crazily. Yeah. Eat this, all in suckers. That's me. Fine. Go. Eat this, all in suckers. Sweat gushes from their faces as they read how to play poker cards again, but they eventually both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks, three aces, and the guy on the right somehow has a straight flush, two through six and hearts. Hornswoggle them. Hornswoggle them. You explain that jacks are worth 9 points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points, to the guy on the right, 20, plus a 25, plus a king. And the king represents, oh hey, look over there! They look, and when they look back, they don't notice the 10 meat missing from each of their piles. You collect your winnings and stand up. The guys thank you for helping them learn the game. Oh yeah. And that's how, that's how we sniff. And that's how the West was won. 
So you're yeah. going to want to focus on... Uh, cheers. Yep, cheers. Hornswoggle is a great tool. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. <sighs> okay. Let's go outside. Alright, outside. Let's get the cactus. Oh, have okay. you run into cactuses enough? Run into what? Cacti enough? Have you run into enough of them? To do something special? Maybe. Okay. Well, anyway, find, find Mr. Cactus Man and, uh... Oh, yeah! Mostly scabs. Gives you plus something armor. Perk. Stupid walking mostly scabs. Plus five maximum health. You've been cut, poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an extra set of capillaries just to deal with the constant time of puncture wounds. Nice. That's how biology works, if you didn't know. Yeah. Hey, cactus dude. Newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Now see what I can do for- Oh, I know, my shovel. I left behind the house at the outhouse at Orhole Mine. It's yours if you go get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Like, right Thank you. there. You can, you can dig something right there. Now if you could uh, just kind of... Behind that house or home mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that newspaper on my face before you leave. There you go. Um, if you, I think if you go to Alice... Some loose dirt. Please. Give her some whiskey. Oh, I guess you have to talk about her or something. Hmm. Whatever. Um, well, oh yeah, talk to uh, the horse the hostler. And then find out where all the other horses are. Oh, get, get those hay, hay bales. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? No. No. Don't, 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 don't buy that horse. Let me think on that. Haystack. Haystack. Yeah. So does every haystack have a needle in it? Yep. Nice. All right, talk to him, though. How's business? Business. <laughs> That's rough. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. Oh god, yes, thank you, please. I'd go fetch it myself, except for this except for this injury. <laughs> I'd give you three hundred meat each for finding them. Um. Oh, gotta get the horse, okay. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always were ever run into the same places. Oh man, we always bring boneyard, thousands. Hey, I'm good with snakes. Yeah. Why are these places? Sorry, that's your line. Why are these places? Well I think they like the environments. They are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed us one of these oats. That should send them back here. How does that work? They have special pigeon-infused oats. <laughs> okay, will do. See you later. Well, I guess we're gonna start heading out of uh, Boring Springs then. Yeah. We should call it here for this episode. I'm, Ooh. I'm Bud. I'm Bub. I guess you should go first for that thing to work. But anyway, bye-bye. Yeah. Adios.